So KT or Toki here? I mean, with no max, like I kind of don't want to play KT as much. I feel like Toki is just better. Toki is just better. Bob really wants you to play KT lately. I don't think I've picked KT in a really long time. I kind of avoid that, that hero. Okay, so usually like the strategy I do with Toki is I'm extremely like inclined to just level up on 5 gold. And I'm just going to do that. I don't really care too much about the early damage I take. And these, this used to be a very reliable strategy uh, before the new heroes got added. And after Eudora and like all the damage changes um, occurred, like cannon being removed, rap being moved up, because you don't really take unexpected damage, and then you can just stabilize with your four drops that you get. I think it's it's a little bit worse now because the new heroes are really high roll, and uh, you can sometimes take damage even if you're strong, because they just like they just out they just out tempo you. Isn't KT tier 1? No, I don't think so. I do have a tier list, but it's uh, it's outdated, so I'm not going to link it. It's just, uh, it just doesn't, it's not useful anymore. I will make one probably soon, I don't know. Maybe like the weekends I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure my top 5 is like Maev, Jandis, um, this dude, Lich King, and then like um, Rafam probably. Okay, so we do the play. Level up here every single time. And then next I can hero power and I can sell and I can buy four and a three ideally. And then I can do the same on uh, seven gold. And then I never have to buy bad minions. I'll just be behind on life. Which won't be a problem as long as I can stabilize. Yeah, I think uh, like playing playing greedy like this in Toki is is just the best strategy. You really want to get value out the hero power as soon as possible, and you can you can level up on eight gold to to four, and then start getting like fives really really quickly. And it's consistent too, because like the hero power works out nicely. How the last game end? Um, I ended up getting four point five. I I messed up, and like I got a triple on my thing at the end. Alright, there's no mech, so I don't think I'd take this one, because I can't high roll egg. There really is only one death rail that I can high roll. I mean, or I could just take like... Nah, I don't think I ever take those. Yeah, it kind of sucks egg's not here. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just try this then. I wish I took that Cadgar. Alright, I, I might I might lose this game really quickly now. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I mean yeah, that, that first turn matters a lot and then if, if you if you whiff that first turn, um, you're gonna have a really hard time coming back. Which I I think I am gonna have a, an extremely hard time coming back now. I think I really need to high roll, so I don't think I can pick this card. <laughs> All right, let's let's just try and see what we can get here. Okay, we got Skillbane, we got the Beast, or we got Rat Pack. 
I think I'd probably take Rat Pack and just try to get the, the buff to land on here. So this works out. Okay, so I'm probably not leveling up on uh, on 8 gold unless I get maybe exactly the buff here and then I get like a Bronze Ward in. Like, I feel like in that case, I honestly really was supposed to consider taking that Khadgar um, on that hero power turn. Because I, I'm kind of just praying at that point, and <laughs> Khadgar can turn things around. Oh shit, wait. They're super weak. Okay, good for us. Wait, yeah, we can probably, probably consider leveling up a lot more now. Works out nicely. I, mean, I did get the buff on a on a relevant part. I mean, I can hear power too. I can stop that too too. Uh, it depends on, like what comes out here, right? Just take it. All right, what are you beasts? Yeah, I don't really care. All right, can we get like a good minion this time though? All right, perfect, perfect. Um, I should freeze for this stuff too. So the next time I buy Macaw, Argus, kind of Grandma, and then I have guaranteed Macaw value here. All right, things things worked out in the end. Uh, I'm just trying to think like what exactly do I want to Argus up here though? Like I always want to Argus up the grandma I think and I probably just Argus up like the scale bane and then I'll move like I don't know. I don't know what position Makai needs to be in. Maybe it'd be like scale bane first or Argus first and then Makai second just to get some value there. I mean I could also just like take the Argus, the Makai and then hero power again. And just sell off the Argus. I kind of like that. I kind of like that more than taking the Grandma, actually. But I have to hire all the hero power, and it might not necessarily work with like what I have, so I'm not sure. All right. Yeah. I mean, sometimes things don't work out. Sometimes they work out. You know. This is, just happens to be one of those games where, you know, I'm totally fine if I if I get a mob bear and I miss on the the stupid four drop. All right, so let's see. Do we want to change things up here? Demon player, Del four. They're leveling up. I should level up with them too then. I think like it even benefits me to to have more space here on the board. Okay. Uh, how does this change things? Yeah, how does this work actually? Um, there's just like too many good cards. Do I want to guarantee the like the stuff there then? I guess so. I'll move this here and I'll just taunt up these two. I don't really want to taunt this up because it it makes space for like it just it makes a one one. But I think I'll take the risk for now. And then I think I just level up next turn. So let's freeze this. Let's not hero power next turn. Uh, I don't, I don't quite know. I think I need to move the die horn first. I didn't quite think about that too much. Cause uh, I don't think I actually make space here, right? It's like yeah, there's just no space. This this might need to go actually. Maybe I'll just hero power, and I'll still have the stupid imp gang boss because it's uh it's really blocking me now. Sell the imp and top the die horn. I don't really want to taunt the Direhorn either. The mob bear. I mean now like I don't know, if I get like a Goldrin, maybe I'll I'll regret that a lot. Yeah, maybe I could've maybe I could have just, just sold them off. I'm thinking like just short term, this is good for, for right now. Yeah, so can I miss a hero power or should I just take this? I think like it's kinda risky for me not to take this. And I already froze for it, so. I'm just gonna take it. And then I'm gonna move this up front, I think. Um, and then just delay some hits. Yeah, I'll, I'll hear power next turn. 
This is too good to, to not fire now. Like, there's no reason to risk it at this point. Alright, I have to figure out the positioning here though. Uh, it's definitely not ideal. And then next time I have to sell something off, I'll sell off like these two. And I'll probably keep the scale band taunt for a little while longer. I don't think I need to play around Cleave, but if I do, there's like no good way for me to play around it. This is the best I can do. Unless I want to do this, which I don't really want to do. Maybe I'll do this, actually. I'll do this. I should have space by the time this attacks. I think Macaw value over Direhorn, because Direhorn doesn't necessarily get me there. Alright, just don't snipe them all there, and then I'll be okay. Yeah, so like, if I don't get Golgen, I'm definitely just going with this Mob Bear build. I mean, I shouldn't just hope that I get Golgen. Um, I, I should always build around the, the Mob Bear. But that's why, yeah, I I think maybe even just taunting up the, the high main is correct, because I don't think I'll actually keep this Macaw. That's like a really low chance that I, I keep it anyways. Alright, never mind. I'm just going to keep high rolling. What the hell? <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to play around the... The high roll potential here. Just kidding, I always get it. Alright, uh, this'll, this'll stay for now. <laughs> what the hell is this? Uh, should I move this up front? Probably this up front now, yeah. Sometimes things just work out. It's out of my control. But it's nice though, I like I barely had to pick up any bad minions. I used my gold so efficiently and I'm still at 23. I'm first in the lobby right now. And like just imagine how much better my position to be if that first hero power worked out well. Just not, nothing but good things right now. Like, look at this budget beast build right there. Oh my god! 99.5% <laughs> lethal. <laughs> That's so disgusting. Like, he's not even- he wasn't that weak. Uh, he might avoid. No, he's still dead. He's like super dead. Holy shit. Wait, did they have anything I want to steal? No. Oh, they did. If I pick up a um, an M dragon, um, I want I want to play it. All right. Now I need an Argus. Need an Argus. Need an Argus. Oh, okay. I mean, what if... What if we just say, like... What if we just say we don't need a taunt? Can we say that? Yeah, let's just say I don't need a taunt. I'll freeze this for next turn. Alright, uh, no plants, please. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, can I level up now? I can probably level up and just sell off the, the mob bear if I need to. <laughs> wow. 
Oh, holy shit. I don't think I've hired out this hard on on uh, on this hero for a while. This is probably my highest, my my best high roll in like the past month. I mean, do I even level up? I might, I might not level up. I might just stay on this tier for the Baron. Yeah, I remember when this game is looking kind of bad. It's no longer the case. Can I get a ghost here too? Easy. Uh, I'm probably not taking this pair. I'll just like hear about here. Wow. Um. I kind of want to keep the pair around. I don't think I need Mama Bear anymore. Mama Bear is useless. Alright, cool. <laughs> Blink twice if it's not pre-recorded. I, mean, I would hope my, my real-time responding to comments would uh, lead you to believe if it's not pre-recorded. I mean, for all you know, like... Everything but my webcam is pre-recorded. Like, this could be pre-recorded. Like, just the mouse movements too. It's gotta be pre-recorded, I'm just, I'm just, uh, reacting to it in real time. Like, my name is blocked out. You don't even know if this is me. This could just be, like, some, uh, some other streamer I pulled the, the game off of. Uh, I don't know. I can probably swap these. I don't. I don't think it really matters what my positioning is. For a ghost has been dead for a while. You love how I have the latest chairs thing. Yeah. I'm trying to. I have it there, so if people really want to see their names up there, they can just pay money to get it there. And, like that might get me some more cheers. Uh, is this too much? No, it's not. <sighs> Alright, is this even necessary? I don't know, I want to keep it because the game might still go on long and I might need to triple this to win. I'll keep it for now, but it's really not necessary to my game plan here. I'll try to get like poison off of this. So maybe that'll be useful. Oh, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, where are they? They're like dragons. I don't know how late my cleave needs to go. They probably have one taunt because they're playing around it. They had that four turns ago. And they had a dragon spawn lieutenant last time they played. So the question is, can, uh, can these two pair hits clear the taunt? They probably can. I don't think like they can actually play around Cleave too well, because like the seven nine probably stayed in their comp. Um, they they might have mixed in like an emissary there too. I don't know about that. Like I, I think for sure they have one big dragon spawn lieutenant, and I can clear that. Like I can beat that. Just the question is like, can I beat something else? And can I beat Nadina something else? Like by moving that there. I don't really think I can, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Hey, pervy old guy. Thanks for the 69 bits. Congrats on uh, getting your name up there. Well, okay. I mean, they can't play around cleave too much, but I kind of need a, I need a poison, or I need like significantly more power than uh, what I have right now. Maybe this game will just be over though. I would not mind that either. No, still gotta, still gotta play. Hmm. 
I mean, who, who needs a win anyways? Wins are definitely overrated. All right, let's, let's run it back again. Uh, there's the poison that I was talking about. All right, so they had a they had a 23 attack taunt, so they can't it can't cover it. It never covers it, but I know this will do a lot of work. And I might I might get rid of like the Golgen too. I might try to go like with both of these. So okay, if I'm gonna go for both of them, maybe I just go for the Bran. But then if I miss on the Bran, then I'm super sad because then I don't have a beast to replace it. So I think I just need to go for three and just hope it works out. This is useless though. I don't want this one. Or I'll take this one first. Okay. Let me let me figure this out. If we get poison or something, it'd be great. If we don't, I'm gonna have to ditch it. A Hydra. Okay, so I think these two leave now. I put this one in. And then it, the positioning is something like this. And then I just hope that these two clear off the small taunt. This one kills with the big one, and then I pop off with these. I think like my odds aren't good, but uh they're acceptable. How did I get 14.2k? I played off stream a lot. Okay, yeah, uh, he has too much to beat me. Like, I don't know, maybe to even have a chance there, I would have to have the the my extra like first and just risk it. Like, my Exna first, and then hope that the second Macaw gets a value hit on some of those smaller dragons. And then have the, the third one there, but I wasn't sure what they were going to do to change their comp. Yeah, I didn't hit Baron. Unlucky. Uh, but yeah, like, if... To make it so I had a chance there's definitely two eight first and then this one there and then this one there or you can even make this one delayed. I mean I think we kinda need to hire a lot to, to win that fight. Yeah, maybe I should have just done that. Maybe I should just put the two eight up front um, and don't worry about the don't worry about the Macaw value. Because that, that 20 attack one actually gets good hits sometimes. It actually value trades on stuff. And I should have played for that.